Hello everybody. I am so excited to do a project with you today. We're going to be working on some painting. So I have all of my supplies ready to go. So I want you to make sure that you have your supplies ready to go before we get going. So go ahead and pause the video and go gather up your stuff. You might not have exactly what I have and that's okay. Everybody's got different stuff. So here's what you're going to need for this project. You're going to need a piece of paper. It can be special watercolor paper like mine. It can be cardstock. It can be regular paper. We are going to be using watercolors. So it might make your paper super floppy and wet and you might cut through the paper with your paintbrush if you are not careful. So it's helpful to have a thicker piece of paper if you have one. Okay, we're also going to need some water that's important for watercolor painting, right? So this is going to help us to get our watercolors wet and it's also going to help us to rinse our paintbrush out in between so we don't mix all the colors together. So this and I've got a paintbrush here. You can use any kind of paintbrush you want. Thick one, a thin one, a big fat one, a little short one, doesn't matter, whatever kind you want. We're also going to use our watercolor paints. So hopefully you have some paints at home. If you don't have any paints, you could also, or any watercolor paints, you could also go ahead and use some acrylic paints or some tempera paints, and you can just water them down really far. So mom and dad can help you with that. You might also be able to use some food coloring if you don't have any paints on hand, but you have some baking supplies on hand. We also need a paper towel so that we can wipe off our paintbrush when we're finished dipping it in our water to get it clean. And the last thing that you might not have guessed is going to be some salt. So I've got my cute little salt shaker here. It can be any kind of salt, table salt, kosher salt, pink Himalayan salt if you're fancy like that, whatever kind of salt you want, but it's going to cause a reaction with our paint, which means it's going to do something to our paint to make our paint look different. So I'm excited to show you the surprise here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have no clue what I'm painting. I'm just going to paint some random blobs on the paper and show you what happens when I add the salt to the paper. So here we go. I'm going to tilt you down so that you can see my paper. So here we go. I'm going to dip in and I'm going to start with my favorite color, which is purple. I'm going to get some purple and I think I'm going to make a flower. So here we go. We're gonna add a middle to the flower. For this to work, you wanna make sure that it's nice and wet. So I'm gonna get a little bit more water so I can make sure that it's nice and wet. And I'm gonna do my petals. Now you can be painting anything you want. We have to make sure that when we put the salt down, our paint is still nice and wet. So I'm trying to keep it nice and wet while I'm going, but I wanna make my whole flower before I put my paint, my um, salt down. So I can show you what the whole thing looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go back over the parts that are not so wet anymore and see how there's different colors in here. Some of it's a little bit darker where I got a little bit of extra paint or it's a little bit extra wet and that makes it look pretty cool. So here we go, I've got my salt and I'm gonna shake, shake, shake my salt on. <gasps> and I see a reaction starting. Can you see what's happening there? Check that out. It's starting to bubble up in certain places. So you're gonna keep going with your whole painting like this. When it's all dry, you'll be able to wipe some of that salt off, but it will still have made that reaction. So I think I'm gonna add some more to my painting. I'm gonna rinse out that purple. I don't want any more purple. And I'm gonna pat it off on my, um, paper towel here. I know you friends are so sweet to me. Words are hard sometimes, aren't they? I'm going to make a stem for my flower and look, it's bleeding into the other part of my flower and that is a-okay. I don't mind because watercolor paintings can be really gorgeous even if you've got pieces that are going into the other parts of your painting. I don't mind. I can make it nice and colorful. And after every little bit, I'm gonna add some salt to see what happens. And I can see it start to bubble up. 
I'm gonna keep on going. If you're trying to make yours look like mine, I wonder what colors you're using. Are you using purple and green? Or are you just making a flower that's any color you want it to be? I think I'm gonna add something a little unexpected on here. I think I'm going to add a ladybug onto my petal. Oh my goodness, my ladybug is spreading out because of that salt, do you see it? It's spreading really wide. So I think I have to use a little bit less so that I can make it look a little bit more like a ladybug. Here we go, I'm gonna do my dots. And like I said, it doesn't matter if it doesn't look exactly like what you were going for. It can still be kind of fun once it's all finished and all dry to see what comes up. I think I'm gonna make a sunshine up in the sky because it's a beautiful sunny day on the day in my painting. So we're gonna make a beautiful sunny sky up here. Here we go. And maybe make some rays of sun coming down into my flower and that sun is helping that flower to grow. The sun is giving the flower some food that it needs. Flowers also get food from the soil beneath them or the dirt underneath of them. So I'm going to give my flower some dirt to grow in. Let's give it some dirt. There we go. So flowers and plants need soil they need sun and they also need some water. So in Florida, it's not uncommon for us to have rain at the same time as we have sun, is it? Have you seen the sun out while it's raining? I sure have. So I'm going to make some rain coming down. Let's make some raindrops. I'm gonna make some rain coming down from the sky. And like I said, that happens in Florida. Maybe not in other states. Maybe it looks gloomy every time it rains in other states. But here in Florida, we definitely can see the rain even when it is nice and bright and happy outside. The rain can still come. Those are some big raindrops coming down from the sky and a teeny tiny sun. And guess what, that's okay. I am not the best artist and you don't have to be either. So we've got some rain to help this flower grow. We've got a ladybug. We've got a sun and some dirt. Maybe I'll give it some grass coming up out of the dirt. There's some grass growing at the same time. You can make some sound effects while you make your grass and Maybe I'm gonna make a center to my flower and that might be just it. So I'm gonna get a little bit darker color and I'm gonna make a middle to my flower just to define it a little bit. And we're gonna put a little bit more salt on just to see if it'll bubble up on any of those spots I just put on there. And boys and girls, you're gonna have a bunch of salt all around your painting, and that's okay. Give it time to dry, and then you can rub off all the extra salt. But that is what my painting looks like. How did your painting turn out? Some of the salt's gonna come off right now. And I am making a big mess on my table, but that's okay. So I have got some speckly watercolors here, and I can't wait to see what happens when it dries. Like I said, I'm not the best artist, you don't have to be the best artist either, but it's fun to create art together, isn't it? So I hope that you're having a whole lot of fun today, whatever it is that you're doing, and I will see you very soon. Bye.